Okay, this video will teach you how to crimp a three-piece RJ45 connector onto some Cat6 cable. I couldn't find this video anywhere online, so decided to make one. These are three-piece connectors. Not sure where, I'm got them, where I got them because I didn't buy them. Um, so this is your main piece right here. Um, uh, that's your main connector. Um, notice it does not have channels in it like normal uh, connectors do because the channels are here. Um, so this little piece um, has channels in it for your eight wires. And then you have this last piece, which I'll call like a splitter. Um, and it, separate, it helps keep your twisted pairs separated for you. So here we go. I'm using some tools by Datashark, using a crimper, uh, the 70005 by Data Shark, and here is the stripper I'm using. So, uh, you can use other uh, tools, uh, you don't have to use these, whatever. Okay. Here's a Cat 6. Align, uh, look for the side with the arrow, that's the side your uh, cable's gonna come in. You're gonna go into this cavity right here. Um, have it stick through the other side by, you know, uh, an inch or two, gives you some working space. Uh, so you'll let go onto there, you don't put any pressure on it, and you turn it in the direction of the arrow, just one turn. You can open it up, and now if you pull on this and twist, that'll come off. You need to check this closely. If you have cut into any of these wires in the process, you need to start over. This is very high bandwidth cable, and any mistakes you make uh, reduce its bandwidth um, by each step. Okay, so we'll pop that off of there. Okay, you'll notice uh, four pairs here. Um, pardon me while I just focus. Um, so yeah, we got four pairs here. I'm going to separate these out. And I'm looking for this uh, little tension string that I'm going to cut off with a pair of dikes. You don't need it, at least not in a connector. Okay. Uh, so then you can look up the, you know, how to wire these things, but you'll also be able to tell here. So take your uh, orange pair and go that, uh, go up. Take your brown pair, go uh, towards you, um, and then push the green and blue pairs up and down, depending on where they ended up. So you are going to take this little spreader, and you're going to slide it over before you untwist them. So take the orange and brown and push them together and put them through those two holes. So there's two holes and then there are also two channels. The other two pairs will go in the channels but uh, you've put the orange and brown through the holes. Push that all the way back there um, and that'll stay on there. So now you can start untwisting all your pairs. Now you also need to straighten them out what I do is I just take my finger and I pinch it, I roll it one way and then the other. Some people slide a pen across it or a tool, whatever you want to do, you need to straighten these out. Um, you got to be pretty diligent here. You want your work to end up neat. Uh, like I said, the neater the connector, the uh, better signal flow and higher bandwidth you'll get through this Cat6e cable. Okay, so I'm straightening out my pairs. I'm untwisting uh, orange and white pairs. Okay, and pinching those to straighten them out. Finally, the green and white. And even though you're untwisting them, try and keep the cables in the same. Uh, general uh, vicinity that you uh, spread them out to. Okay. So, just you know, as I spread out these wires, what I'm, the assumption I'm making is that um, you're going to be working with this connector with the lock away from you. So it will be facing down like that. 
and then we'll start at the top and work our way down with the colored uh, with the different colors. So again, uh, you're gonna uh, place that like that. Okay, so we start with orange white up top. Um, then we go orange. Then we bring in um, blue white. Gosh, I hope I got that right. Um, let me see. Gotta grab my uh, chart around here somewhere. Um, it is actually Ah, okay, here we go. Uh, so, um, actually, it is green, green, white comes next. Okay, so we did orange, white, then orange, green, white, then blue. And you're going to kind of pinch them together like this as you add more. Then blue, white, then green. Okay, then white brown, and then brown. And you'll be able to work on this as you go. So what you're going to be doing a lot here is pinching these all together to try and flatten them out. So just so you can see here what I've done, um, you can see the blue and white pairs are um, up top in that channel. Um, let me adjust focus again, pardon me. Okay, yeah, so the blue and white wires are up in that channel. The orange white pair goes through this top hole. The brown pair goes through this bottom hole. And then if I flip this over you'll see we want to push the uh, uh, the green pair into the channel on the bottom. And it's sticking out just a little bit. Okay there we go. Now it is in that channel. Okay flipping back over. So now what I'm going to do is press my wires together and then check and make sure that they haven't come out of alignment, that I've got the correct um, order of colors here. So orange, white, orange. Then it should be green, white, blue, which is what I have. Then blue, white, green. So green is out of place here. And then white, brown, and brown. And yes, it does. Uh, it's not really a science. It's more of an art. Uh, you'll learn that quickly. Um, so yeah, we want this collar to be pushed all the way back up against the insulation. Okay, so what I've done here is use the blade on my crimping tool to uh, cut these wires straight um, and cut them short. We only need just enough length to fit inside this piece right here. So now what you're going to do, you've been working with the orange wire on top. Now what I, what I want you to do is roll the connector away from you so that uh, brown is towards you and orange is away. And uh, this is how you're going to position this connector, this piece, um, with the angled section facing up. Um, so uh, now you're going to fit these onto there and let me flatten these out a bit more. Sometimes pinching them with your fingers will help them get in there. But if you've done nice work flattening them out and cutting them, it shouldn't be uh, too hard actually popping it into this uh, piece. So there you go. That's essentially how it'll look. You'll tidy it up. But before we tidy it up, we want to check that we got our colors right. Um, so orange, white, orange. Then green, white, blue. Um, blue, white, green. Brown, white, brown. So we've got it right. So now I'm going to push this all back on here. You want the wires to come out and be flush with the end of this um, piece. Okay, cool. So that looks like that's in uh, good shape. Now we're going to uh, put it into our connector. So remember we've been um, working with the locking piece facing down. So now you can take both of these, roll them away from you. And you'll see that this angled section that you left up here on top will fit nicely into the connector when we put it in there. You can see there's a matching angled section in there. Um, okay, cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and just push this inside there. Just kind of work it in and push it all the way back. Um, I can go even further here. You want it to go all the way to the end so that the 
you can see the wires practically touching the plastic on this end. Not just practically, they, the wires will be touching the plastic on this end. Um, cool. So now you push it on in there. This section here is going to crimp onto the insulation and hold it. So make sure there's actually insulation here and that your insulation isn't stripped back so far that you're just crimping wires. Um, so that's uh, pretty well done. Now uh, grab your um, crimping tool. This is an RJ45 connector. So that's the hole you're going to be using is RJ45 as opposed to RJ11. Again, uh, you know, the locking piece goes down. You just push it right into there until it stops. Um, and then uh, crimp it.